Just keep going. You sure? Yeah. Some of you may have noticed that we have a new addition to the class here today. You may or you may not have noticed, but he is slightly different from the rest of you. Well, where is he? Why, he's sitting right beside you. Yeah. How long have you been there? The whole time. But how come I didn't see you? That is the way of the ninja. He's been there for about 20 minutes now, you must have seen him. Ah, how long have you been there? The same amount of time as the ninja. Hey, Billy, I didn't realize that you took this class. Oh, I don't. I'm only here for the free tea and refreshments. There is no free tea and refreshments. I have you know this brochure says otherwise. This is a first edition copy of Charles Dickens' immortal classic, A Tale of Two Cities. How you came into possession of this and how you managed to get from this to free tea and refreshments is beyond comprehension. It's easy, John. You just need to read between the lines. Meanwhile, in the top secret castle lair of Dr. Von Baron Glockenweiner. Go away! My dog has just died. And now, due to lack of developing subplot, we return to the main story. You know, for an assortment of old socks, this price seems quite reasonable. Hey, John. Joe! I haven't seen you in ages. How was your summer? Oh, it was pretty cool. Until I split up with Mike. Uh, oh, well, I'm sure there are plenty of other guys out there. Yeah, I suppose. Hey, is that your friend Billy? He looks pretty cute. Maybe you could set me up on a date with him sometime. Yeah, only if I had something against you. Hey, John, look at this hat. Slivering. Hey. Oh, yeah, bye then. Okay, Billy, spill it. Spill what? You didn't bring me to this car boot sale for no reason. You obviously want to ask me something. I do? You do this every time. Why do you bring me to these car boot sales anyway? I hate them. They're always full of tack. Can't a man take his best friend out to the local car boot anymore? Must the world be so cynical? Ugh, just tell me what you want. I have a plan. Plan? What plan? That ninja in our lecture this morning? Well... I had an idea to make one of those funny home movies you find on the internet. You know, the ones where people do crazy things to cats and other domesticated animals. I'll go get my camcorder. All I ask of you is that you lend me your hamster. I'm not gonna let you harm my- Oh, okay, never mind then. I thought it would be a good idea, but obviously you're not cool with it. No, not cool at all. Hey guys, what's up? John is being really uptight. Nothing new there then. He wants to kill my hamster! I keep having to remind you, Mr. Nova, the dance shall have to be cancelled. But this dance is a tradition, one which this church has held for over 80 years. The band can't do it anymore. The lead singer is 98 years old. Oh, this is absurd. I couldn't help but overhear your problem. I'm sorry, my child. Now probably isn't the best moment. We're having problems with the band that's scheduled to perform here tomorrow night. What if I could get you... A replacement act. You may be able to do that. You bet. Wait right here. I'll be back tomorrow with the pitch. What's that vegetable? Why are you still doing this? Because I have a dream, John. Well then, what do you have for us? What's the pitch? Behold! I have the perfect act for your pantomimic performance this year. BJS Limited is proud, no privilege to present, the Drab Four. Yes, um, very good. Um, What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? Wait, what are they supposed to do again? They sing, apparently. How are you planning on pulling this one off? They sing, darling, sing! Okay, I've had enough. I'm going now. My emotions are a never-ending stream of pain and suffering. My heart calls out in damnation. Your lead singer doesn't sound very happy. That's all the rage these days. Anger sells. Observe. Good day to you, sir. Go boil your head. Oh, marvellous. 
Yes, I see. Well, you do seem to have a fairly valid point. I think we should see some more credentials first. Mm. Oh, oh yes. Um, how many shows has your band performed in? Mostly around pubs, or well, a pub. Well, it was more of a mini bar. <laughs> well, good enough, I suppose. It's aubergine. Aubergine. You stupid man, huh? How the hell are you going to pull this one off? Oh, John, you're so naive. He's right, Bill. You haven't even asked me if I can sing. But you don't need to sing. That's the beauty of it. Heavy metal's just a load of screaming into a microphone about why you are very angry. You really have no idea what music is, do you? Uh, Elvis is king and Justin Timberlake is the prince of pop. This isn't going to work, Billy. Who the hell are these people anyway? Oh, I found them on the pub scene. Well, outside of it. <laughs> throwing up violently. Ew. I can't believe you're forcing me to share a dressing room with them. You mean the camper van? Yes, the camper van. This will all work out, trust me. I mean, how hard can it be to manage a soul group anyway? Well, first of all, you need to choose a genre for this band. Oh, I'll decide tomorrow. The performance is supposed to be tonight. Look, just tell me at least one time when I've had a plan which hasn't worked. Crufts? Yeah, but being the first person in history to be the cause of a riot at a dog show is quite an achievement. How was I supposed to know that the guy who I paid to put the dog costume on was an undercover policeman? He didn't seem too happy when that golden retriever took a shine to him. Okay, Susan. I mean, wow. How many years of trauma therapy will he have to go through? We get it, Susan. It must have been like 20. Susan, enough. Look, the main thing is that they didn't discover who we were. Uh, where were we? The band... Yeah, something will turn up. I can't believe you're going through with this. Are you kidding? I'm loving every minute. I'm going to be a pop star. You really haven't been listening, have you? Me? Sing? Fame! Flawless logic. Is that boot polish? We didn't have any hair dye. We improvised. You're both despicable. Good evening, Mr. Johnson. I trust that you have been successful. Not yet, sir. I mean, the ninja has been integrated into the class, and I seated him directly in front of it. It was supposed to be contact this morning. I hope I need not to remind you, Mr. Johnson, that this organization does not accept failure or delays. Her friend distracted her. It was completely out of my control. No, no, Mr. Johnson. I'm a reasonable man. Does, does this mean I still get paid? Mr. Johnson, what use is money to a dead man? Wait, no! Soon, Susan. Soon I shall have my revenge. <laughs> Ha 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 